This week's assignment is going to be quite a bit different as you're going to create uh, your own urban and agriculture comparisons. It's going to require that you download an important piece of uh, data called an, a shapefile. Uh, it's a, a shapefile is a geographic area that's used in GIS mapping. So the first thing you're going to need to do is create a folder on your desktop and I right click my mouse, click new folder and you're going to name that folder Bethel. The data that we're going to co collect is about the uh, Bethel area neighborhood. Then in Moodle you will see in, in this week's assignment there is a folder called Bethel Zip. Zip is a compression software that takes large amounts of data and compresses it so that it can be um, sent over the internet. So I'm going to click on Bethel and then I want to open the document. So I'm going to click on the Bethel Zip and I'm going to save this and I want to save it in the folder I created, so that's on my desktop. And I'm using Windows 7, so it may look a little different than your computer. I'm going to open up the Bethel folder, and I'm going to choose Save. Close all of these. And then when I open the Bethel folder, I see this folder that's been zipped. I have to uncompress this. So I right click and I choose, sorry, extract all. And usually I can just choose extract, extract. So what I see is my zipped folder and my unzipped folder. And if I open this folder, you're going to see seven files in this folder. All of these will create a grid or a square in the Bethel neighborhood uh, on the northwest side of, of Eugene. If you can't get these, come to my office hours on early in the week and I and bring a zip drive and we'll just pull them off and put them on your on your computer. Okay. So once you have your your shape files, then you can open up the website iTree Canopy. iTree Canopy is a piece of software that was developed by the Forest Service and it has many applications and basically what we're looking at are aerial photographs and you're going to be able to do a comparison uh, of agricultural land versus urban development uh, based on a shape file or the area identified uh, with a specific parameters. So the first step is load an Esri shapefile. You're going to click that. You're going to accept the fine print. And then it says browse. So if you remember, we put this in the folder on the desktop. And it's quite a bit buried in there. And you want to pick the file that ends in SHP and you'll notice there's two of them. The one without the icon that says shape file in type is the one you want. So I'm going to choose open. I know it's correct because this is looking fine here. I'm going to choose OK. And what you're looking at now is a township and range grid from the PLS, PLSS system 
this Barger Drive and Green Hill Royal and uh, North Terry is one section uh, grid. Now, 20, 25 years ago, this area was predominantly agricultural and it's made some major changes, just like the video um, that you saw about Chicago. So step one was to, to load our region of interest. What are we going to study? Step two is to, con to configure the survey. So we're going to click on this. And you get a survey co configuration file. We don't want to look at tree, non-tree, although that's a great application for this to look at canopy cover. We're going to look at agriculture and urban. So you need to change these uh, file names. So I click on the number one. You can see that that row is highlighted. I click the pencil. I'm going to change my cover class to agriculture. The abbreviation to A. And description. And then I'm going to choose submit. On the second one, I'm going to ch change this as well to urban. Letter U and TH. All right, and submit that. So now I've created two classifications. Things are either going to be urban or they're going to be agriculture when I look at this. I'm going to choose done. Then the third part is to begin the iTree canopy survey, which we're not really doing a canopy survey, we're doing agriculture. Okay, so right now I'm going to click the plus and it's going to insert a new um, evaluation point. So here it is, and that little yellow uh, square is what I'm looking at, and what I have to decide is, is this an agricultural point or is this an urban point? And I can't really tell from this, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Oh, agriculture. So that's been identified as agriculture. I'm going to add a new point. And that new yellow point, oh, I thought it was urban. I'm going to still call that agriculture. I'm going to add another point, definitely urban. So I'm going to use the drop-down menu and choose urban. I'm going to add a fourth point. I'm pretty sure that's a road. Oh, yeah, it's right on there, so I'm changing that to urban. I'm going to add a fifth point. I have to zoom out again. I'm not sure. Or, bleh. let me look here. Boy, that's a school. I think I'm on the road. I'm going to go with urban. All right. So I've taken five points, and right now, in the sampling that I've done, it looks like the, the area is 50% uh, urban, 50% agriculture. And you can see that this plus minus, um, that's called your, your estimation error, and we wanna, you want to get that as low as you can. So what I want you to do is I want you to sample 100 points. Nah, let's go 50. Sorry about that. I, I want you to sample 50 points, and I want you to talk about your percentage cover uh, that's that's urban and that is agriculture and just think about the fact that uh, 20 years ago this was perhaps 10 percent uh, urban and the rest was was agriculture uh, um, so that that's the method that you're going to do to create uh, this this data analysis and this is really what you're doing is pretty high level analysis um, using uh, remote sensing or uh, geographic information science properties.